Oh, man. (laughs) I can't even take myself serious with the microphone flowers in my hair. The fact I'm even wearing a robe is kind of nutty, but it is actually cold today. And I'm like kind of admitting, not that we already don't know I'm a hot mess mess, but coming out here to the desert has been super rad because I have made the decision over the last couple of weeks after coming to the epiphanies that I have been, that I would like to make this my permanent home residence. Now, I never intended this to be an Airbnb or a rental, but I just think over the last two weeks, it really like hit me in the chest that this is my house house and this is my first house too so it's just extra special anywho when I first moved here I think I thought I was going to dominate the year and dominate the desert and the desert definitely dominated me and I am now at this like I have gotten into the routine of things with my coffee with my puppies I am at such a different place in my life than I was even three months ago if you look back on my YouTube catalog you can see how scattered I actually am I am not a fan of being this scattered I am not a fan of doing very random projects, but my whole career has never really had a full focus for any kind of a lengthy amount of time. Hi kids, let's get to work. That's when I just said, Rachel met, stop being afraid of tackling the trailer and tackle it. And so this great idea came to me that as a year gift to myself of being in the desert and taking the leap, I want to have the trailer fully done as a luxury guest house, but It will be where I live when I renovate this house. I can already feel such a difference in my mood after just tackling this episode with you guys that you're about to see. So let's dive into it. Rochelle is the name of the game for the remainder of the year. And I'm gonna be breaking it down way differently than what you've seen other YouTubers do, just so I can actually do it successfully as a one woman show in the physical form of labor. We have dove into the trailer before by demoing a decent portion of it. Thank you, past Rachel. And also redoing a portion of the vanity to see what type of design I like. And we'll dive into that a little bit later. My main goal with this introductory episode is to bring you back to what I obviously am focusing on, show you how I really am going to tackle a big design project for the first time as a one woman show. But before we can even dive in to doing anything on the inside, we are only as strong as our roof. So let's visit the roof and make sure there are no leaks. So all the work we're about to do isn't going to be obliterated by a random desert storm. If you want a lengthy and detailed post about how I'm breaking down, figuring out how to tackle this project, you can find all of that back end stuff on my Patreon. But for the majority of it, I just kind of research YouTube, find the best method and what will actually be available in my area and then execute it accordingly. Now, mind you, this trailer is not moving. I am going to be treating it like an actual structure guest house staying here because we'll eventually build a deck around it. I don't know why my heart is racing, but it is. All right. Future greenhouse. The first step that I saw anywhere that I was studying or researching was clean that roof. So I just spent an evening, a sunset, just sweeping on top of a 40 foot trailer in the middle of the desert until it was completely clean and I can move forward with patching before we do the paint job. Oh, I'm gonna need like 50,000 more of these. So only two rolls are gonna do one of these. Good to know. We will revisit the roof later because I want to build like a shade overhang. So I potentially will just be building on top of this roof to fully protect it. So I'm excited to see your feedback after I kind of share some things I found online that worked best for other trailer videos that I researched. And a lot of these people loved flexi tape and the flexi paint, both extremely expensive. So after I realized I would need a ton of it, I kind of redirected to a more budget friendly fix, if you will. I continued using the tape that way. I can give you feedback when we revisit the roof since there will be a decent amount of weather happening during these three months. And then I moved forward with what was recommended by a local Home Depot employee that did a similar project to mine. And that was this wet patch. So you have this mesh tape that you throw over the hole or affected area and you go in and you trowel this wet patch on top and you let it just set there. For each of these episodes, I will be linking the direct videos that I watched while researching. Now I might not have come to the consensus that they did, but it led me to where I am at now. And I think that it would be nice to kind of share those videos so you can kind of see how I fell down the rabbit hole of learning this totally new project. I'm in between like running around the trailer for episode two and getting really excited and like sketching my designs. And before I kind of get wrapped up in that, I wanted to take a quick second to thank today's sponsor. So if you're carrying a credit balance month to month, you're not alone and you're not without help. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off all your personal debt with a loan all online. 
my god, you again you lost a tooth. That is a canine. I wondered why you were drooling and why you smell like blood. Is that normal? Okay, anyways, let's get back to this commercial. Rather than your credit score alone, Upstar actually considers a couple other factors like your income, your current form of employment, and your credit history. That way they can find you a smarter rate for your loan. You can also check your rates without impacting your credit score in minutes for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. If you guys want to find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today, you can head over to upstart.com slash Mets. Again, that is upstart.com com slash Mets. Make sure to use my URL so they know that I sent you. That's upstart.com slash Mets. I've linked it down below in the description box for you. And now I'm going to show you this dog's tooth because I cannot believe this just popped out of his mouth and onto the floor in front of me during this ad read. Look at that thing. I'm so sorry, my sweet boy. You want to come see and get a cookie because of that? Yeah. My Home Depot doesn't have a ton of brand variety. It's really this Henry's one or another one that was available. The Flexi Seal paint that was recommended to me, you have to order by the gallon. That's over $100 per gallon. I needed five gallons of this paint. Obviously, that's what I'm dragging up the ladder. So versus spending $500, I spent roughly 50 for this five gallon bucket that does the same thing. I'm just gonna have to add another paint on top of that to protect it from the UV rays and kind of like resist it. But first we're gonna dive in with this sealer and damp proof that was recommended to me by numerous people out here in the desert that work at Home Depot that have done a similar project. The cool thing is how I'm tackling this project with you guys is very like section by section. So if I am messing up and I get feedback from other people, obviously along the way, I will go back and tweak that real time through this entire series, just as I am updating the budget live over on my Patreon as we go episode by episode. So you get the full budget breakdown over on my Patreon, but over here, I'm just gonna be telling you the total towards the end of the episode and leaving that in the description box. Oh, you say you guys were starting the trailer. Okay. so. Pups are next to me. I'm gonna use the sunlight to my advantage right now. So as you can see, I can start to see where these holes are. Before I couldn't, obviously there was walls on here. And I'm just gonna kind of go around back and forth. Blaze, please do not go outside without me. I'm just gonna kind of go through this wall of the trailer and see where all the holes are and fill them to make sure there's no water coming through. That's our goal because they're probably coming through from stuff like this that he installed and then reorganized kind of situation. What do you think? Great, you look so happy to be here. <laughs> The same thing that I used to patch the roof uh, with the trowel earlier is basically what I'm using in cock form. I am gonna go back in and swap it out, I think, with a different sealer. This is just what I had on hand, and my closest Home Depot is 40 minutes away, and your girl was like, let's see if this works. Uh, it hasn't melted since I've installed it, so I think it is completely fine, but again, I'm gonna use a, seal a different sealer for the bathroom in the next episode. Framing, we will again visit section by section. Right now, I'm more focused on I'm making sure no water is getting into this trailer. I will be demoing the frame in different areas, but we aren't gonna be concerned with that right now. We are just concerned with like getting to the point of starting the actual bathroom, cause fun. It's like so interesting to come in here. Like, yes, it's cute, but I don't even recognize uh, this person anymore. It's so crazy. This was only three months ago and I'm over it. Like this isn't me at all, not even in the slightest. So we're gonna try this again and get a little bit of a restart. I am honestly like, it's cute. It's real cute. And I knew at the time what I was doing, but Rachel right now, not a fan. So we are just going to pack it up and demo it out and really do the bathroom right. This is what I love about design and what I think people don't really recognize is like you don't have to keep the look just because you did it. I progressed as a human and I'm not a fan looking back on this and that is exactly why I'm taking it down. I do fully encourage you changing your space as you change as a human. It just makes you feel a little bit more sound within your safe space. Remember when everyone got in like such a tizzy about this piece of glass not being the full length of the vanity? <laughs> Give a girl a break. <laughs> She's gonna demo it three months later. Oh, I just got so excited. You see, when I moved in back in March, I don't know why I didn't think I can open up these walls, maybe because I just felt like it really wasn't my property. But now that I've settled in, you can see that I have said goodbye to that and goodbye to the walls to open up the space and truly give myself something huge to work with in a real blank canvas. Ooh, so much better. Bada bing. Bada boom boom. Look at all the space that you can do activities. Well, I mean, depending. I was feeling extra frisky because I wanted that extra space. And again, I didn't know why I couldn't open it up. So I said, goodbye. 
to that entertainment system because I think that gives me a good excuse to then open up the square footage just a little bit on the bathroom. I didn't demo this wall because there's a whole pipe attached to the top and I didn't want to have to get into that right now. But I did demo this and look how much more open it is. And while demoing it, I had such, I hope, a clever idea to leave this open because I think it looks a lot better and make this one giant door to close it off when being used because if nobody's in the bedroom, it's not a big deal. You know, get a little freaky. It's interesting watching this footage back and making this episode about focus because you can see real time right here how my brain just starts to explode with ideas and I think that is where the deflation comes, being overwhelmed so instantly uh, where I'm not even close to being at that part of the project. I don't know if anyone else goes through it, I just want to kind of vent and share that with you. Free mirror. Well, I mean, I bought the house so it's not free. But... Oh, so much better without the doors. Huh. Sliders. That's not the point. We are not designing right now, Rachel Munz. We are demoing right now, Rachel Munz. But I really do think it would be cool to be able sliding door here. So this is always open. Huh. Golden idea. I think sliding door here too. So we can just open this up completely. That way when whoever's in here doesn't feel like squished. Like they can wash their hands and have elbow room and then like step out of the shower into here. I'm a genius. Sliding doors, maybe, who knows? Uh, don't quote me, don't quote me. But so far, it's so good, so let's keep demoing. Oh, but then the bathroom's exposed. But is that a bad thing? Okay, well, we don't even wanna know. I continued with my demo rampage and just kind of went at whatever I could that day because there really wasn't any other task at hand. And then fun fact, I just hated past Rachel for a quick second when demoing the pink wall. I'm very happy that past Rachel did construction he said this whole thing because that's why I have to demo it like this. Oh, sure, sure. Sure. Remember how I construction adhesive the MDF to the frame? For what reason? I have no fing clue. I'm done for the day because I'm about to snap. That was an hour of work that that shouldn't have even been like that. I knew that back then and I'm a little frustrated myself right now because I'm better than that. So before I completely lose my cool for the day, because I came and tell you how sore I am after just hammering that out because of my dumb mistake. <laughs> I'm all heated and I'm all sweaty. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower. Wait, what was it? Much better, much better mood. Sorry about that. That was aggressive. As you can see, there's still some construction adhesive, but when you come this way, just with the doors off and the wall gone, it looks so much bigger. When you walk into here, we'll step into the dirty tub. We are back. <laughs> to square one. And then we demoed all of that out, which then in turn opens up literally the living room. So it was built out into there, and there is that wall down there, and we're just, oof, we're a blank canvas. So I'm excited to design. Look how beautiful. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'll show you from the bedroom too. I'm gonna be throwing out all that insulation because I'm gonna do spray insulation, but now with this wall gone and cabinet gone, again, it's just so much bigger. So I wanna figure out a way to keep it nice and open, but be able to shut this off to the public and have this be like a little ensuite bathroom to the bedroom once the door closes, or they can just go in there and close it all the way if they want to. Okay, now that it's cooler out. I'm gonna go in with this stuff. And you do one coat one direction, the second coat the other direction. To close out this episode and just make sure, and fun fact, it did really rain all crazy after this, I did the last top coat of this white UV paint by Henry's. Again, I've linked it down below for you. And that is one coat one direction, a second coat the other, before I could fully just like have a peace of mind to really move in and dive into this project, which I'm, ugh, I just feel a new inspiration coming, people. Okay, so what an episode. A little bit of a whirlwind, but now we're here. Now we know the mission. We just need to get to it. I'm kind of looking down at the bathroom in the middle of episode two as I'm filming it. And every time I walk in here, it is such a different feeling. It's like a, a breath of fresh design air because I've never had an opportunity like this. 
Anywho, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this first episode. If you guys are not a Patreon, go ahead and go check it out. But I do shout out five every single episode. So this week, I do want to shout out Giselle, Ariana, Allison, Aurora, Nicole, and Sarah. Thank you guys so much for your support. I saw my numbers dip really low on Patreon, but that's because your girl really failed last month. But I'm back to it consistently because I have focus again. Thank the DIY heavens above for finding a new mission. Anyway, I need to get out of this and into something I can continue demoing because this floor is giving me a ton of kickback. I even fell through the floor and kind of sacked it on the frame. So that's fun. That's an episode too. Anyways, thank you guys so much for the love and support. I'm very excited to see where we go with this series. And let me know in the comments down below if there's any channels out there that you watch or episodes you have seen with conversions like this because your girl needs the help. That is for damn sure. Okay, I need to change out of this robe and get back to demoing this floor that I sacked on.